Hey everyone, it's Stephanie Nelson from the Melrose Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for joining us for Chamber Chat. I'm thrilled to have my friend and colleague from Northern Bank, Priscilla Silvera, with me today. Priscilla, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for inviting me, Stephanie. This was great. Yes, Thank you. so exciting. And it's your first time to MMTV. Yes, this was actually my first time here. I love this so far that they gave me a tour, so the place is great. And it's it's an untapped resource. So um, MMTV has been uh, here for, for years, but whenever someone comes in for a podcast or an event, they say, oh my goodness, tell me more about this place. You saw the studio in the back. There's so much opportunity. So many things that they can do it there. And I didn't even know about it. Like the community can use it which is great for them. So Absolutely. whenever they school we need it, yep. they even have like an 89 years old that use it on the space for so. Yeah, she's, she's apparently it. got a huge following for her podcast. So. I would love to, yeah, it's super to watch it. Well, let's tell our uh, listeners a little bit about you. So how long have you been with the bank? So I've been with Northern Bank. It's going to be six years now in September. So funny thing, I started with the bank as a teller in Michigan, in the main office. So I started as a teller. Then um, I was promoted to become the P the personal banker in Bilarica. From there, I went to Melrose as an assistant branch manager. And then recently, not recently, but like last year, I got promoted for the the, the branch manager, oh, which fantastic. is- Fantastic. I love it, the company. It's like, they gave us the opportunity that we always like, if you were looking for, and if you work hard for it, so. Well, congratulations on becoming the branch manager. We, Thank I can speak from uh, so many different organizations in the community. You are everywhere. I don't know how you do it, but you are always out in the community. You're supporting the incredible work that so many nonprofits are doing. Uh, as I tell you all the time, I'm a proud townie, so I'm a little bit biased with respect to all the wonderful things that are happening here in Melrose, but... Every time I turn around, you're at the farmer's market supporting, you're at the, f you know, partnering with Jaina at the food drive supporting. Tell me a little bit about that part of your job. Uh, so this is one of the part of my jobs. It is to be in the community and to be looking for business in the community as well. But it's like, I like to, like myself, it's not just like, I don't want to just looking for the business. I wanted to be in the community and be part of the community. So when you say like you see me everywhere, like I try to be as much as possible outside of the community, helping whenever it's possible. When then someone needed like Jenna, um, when I met her through Julie from the, the Merrill's Kitchen, she's just like a wonderful person that you wanted to be part of like what she does. So when she Absolutely. explained to me what does the food drive does, when I she explained about like the volunteer work, when she explained like what is the what is actually the the food drive, I was like, I want to be part of it. So just tell me what I need to do. But, and what I what I think you deserve like major props for is it's one thing to get the support from the bank, which is incredible. And their mission can't continue without that. But I see that you actually deliver food. You rescue food yeah. and deliver. I mean, that's talking about um, what's the saying, you know, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> like I, I saw you delivering food. I mean, that that part of the, the mission I find so fulfilling. Yes, and that's what I want to say. Like when she told me about the volunteer opportunities, I told her right away, "Where send me the e link because so, I want to participate." So I do want to donate my time for the community, just to picking up the food, drop off whatever it is. Be, I wish I could do more, but mm -hmm. sometimes like the time it just goes too fast. So, sure. but I do want to participate more with the Mystic Valley too because I wanted to volunteer with them. They are based in Malden, mm -hmm. but they do a lot of business in Melrose too. Yes. So, and I, they, it's a money management. So I, they, we can be like part of them too. And that this is one of the parts that I like. I look for opportunities to help and be part of that. So what Joanna Jenna said about the, the food drive, I was like, I want to participate. And she's like, she's introduced me to other nonprofit uh, companies too, mm -hmm. that I also wanted to participate. So. And the amazing thing is, I know you said you don't necessarily go out to do these community events solely to find new business. Correct. But what happens is organically, you make connections. They find out about you. They know that you're working with Jaina. They know that you're working with Julie. They know that you really support female-owned businesses. And it just naturally happens. Right. And I don't think everyone fully gets that. So I give you props for that. Because you. when you're out in the community and you're constantly saying, hey, think of Northern Bank. 
it it just naturally happens. Yeah, I think this is like a result from being there, putting your name out there, being participating, be present in everything that the community does. And Melrose does so many things. Like, you know, being right. part of the chambers, you are very heavy in the community here too. Every time, like every week, there is something going on. There mm -hmm. is an event during the winter time, summertime, any type of the year, throughout the year, they always have something going on. So it's easier to for you to participate when Absolutely. there is like the community is helping you out. Sure. You know what I mean? And so, I think Melrose, one of the things that I'm so proud of is Melrose loves to support Melrose. And, yes. and by that, I mean, if I met someone at the farmer's market that saw me talking to you and there's just this instant connection and credibility. It's almost like, oh, go talk to my friend Priscilla at Northern. She might be able to help you with a small business loan to get that concept up and running. Um, and I love the fact that we all help each other. Yes, I think that's exactly the point. We always help each other. So we all know it's, Merrill's isn't like, it's not small, but we all know each other. So it's like a referral. So we we know each other and we, we trust each other. So I'm always comfortable to send anyone towards the chambers and up to the farmer's market and anything that is going on. I always tell them about all the events that I know of it. Right. Victorian Fair, like I'm a huge fan of the Victorian Fair, for example. Yay. So every single customer there <laughs> new to town or something like, oh, have you been to the Victorian Fair? Yeah, you know, so, so great, this, is stuff, yeah. this is the type of thing that like, we try to help by let it, letting them Promoting. know about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yes. And especially because that you're enabling other either customers or prospective customers to get connected and get involved and they're going to do more in the community, enjoy it more. It's it's all kind of tied together. Correct. All right. I, I, I have to ask a couple of questions. So of course. what do you like the most, love the most about Melrose? That is easy. So <laughs> <laughs> I like I said before, I did work to other like places. Mm -hmm. But Melrose, I don't know, it feels like it's special. So the customers here in Melrose, this is one of the best customers that I ever had, that I ever worked here. <laughs> they are very understanding. They're very like easygoing. So they are not like pushy at all. So they, they are, I love my customers, all of them. I mean, when I'm in your branch, if we're having a meeting or something, it feels like a family. Like I feel like it's That's somebody's family it room because they come in and you're chit-chatting and you're asking how the husband's doing recovering from surgery or how the little one's doing getting into kindergarten. And I just felt like, I will tell you, I'm not going to bad mouth my bank but if I walk in there I'm just a number they, they don't know who I am and it's not it's not that I think I want some sort of attention I just when I'm with you at your bank it's just a completely different feeling yeah I feel like we connect with our customers really well we know about their whole life we know about the parents we know about the kids we know about like the the grandfather so they have, they trust us, not just financially, but they trust us to tell us about like trips that they're coming from. Yeah. Like, like difficult I had a, situations correct. or a financial emergency or a medical situation. I even had a customer that she was telling me everything about her trip to Italy, everything. She came back, she did an album and she came back to the branch just to show me her album from oh, Italy. See, I love that. She, it was just like, she was like, I know we talk so much about it that I feel like I wanted to show you how was it because mm -hmm. I was wishing her like, the best trip ever and everything. So she came back, showed me the album. She even sent me a thank you letter for like for me to have taken time to see her yes. pictures because she wanted to tell someone of about course, it. Yes. And she doesn't have like any kids. So it was like she sat there with me for, for like an hour. Exactly. It yeah. was something special. So this is like what makes us different too from other banks. We focus more like in not just having the best customer service, but like we have connections with our customer. We know like something. We always know if they're going on trips, they tell us, oh, if they want to do something, like they have plans for the weekend. And then for some reason, like we always like ask them later, then they feel that like we, we you they matter. You, you know? Absolutely. I yeah. love that. And I think there's something to be said about having that connection with you. And then she's out in the community and she hears about someone that needs to get some kind of financial services. Well, who's she going to think of? She's going to think about Priscilla, the person and the Can't bank. Like, exactly. Um, and I bet you probably have tenured customers for years and years and years because of that connection. Yeah, we have the word to mouth referrals. Those are the best referrals. And we have a lot there. So we always have someone saying, 
oh, I was at the, for example, I had one uh, not too long ago. I was in my doctor's, um, in my doctor's appointment. I was letting him know like about the, this difficult that I was having with my credit card and everything. And he referred you guys to me. When I heard that, I was like, oh, oh I love that. This is the type of things that happens there in the branch because yeah. we always love each other. Like we trust him other each other so they refer them back to us so this is like a big winning That's for me amazing. because that means that whatever we're doing we're doing something that is right I love and that. the customers are happy so this is what i want i want them to trust us to financially and then just like for themselves too now tell me about the gym that is one of your tellers that has been there for oh ever marie marie she is 88 years old. Oh my gosh. She's been working there for 21 years. Oh. She knows like Everybody. three generations <laughs> of a family. She knows every single person. Customers wait in line for her. And did you say 80? 88. Oh my goodness. Can and you how, believe it? And how many days does she work? She actually works every Monday, every Thursday, every Friday, and every Saturday. God bless and her. And if Amazing. you, for example... We are short stuff. And then when we need someone to cover for us and switch her days, like Marie, can you switch the day? She was like, yeah, yeah. If she has no <sighs> appointments or something, that's no problem. I can come. I can come. I she is it. the most re reliable like employee that we have there. We can always count on her for anything that we need. The customers, they absolutely love her. I like, love it. They love her. And she knows the grandfather, the father, the yeah, kids. Yeah, of course. The, <laughs> she has seen kids there to grow up. So the other day she was saying they're like, oh, I, w I know her since she was a little girl, like she was one. Now she's like 18. Oh my goodness. She already like in college and everything. I and she knows that. through their whole life. That's so amazing. that means like they trust. When you have like a branch that has such like a long time employees there, they are more trustful and they trust Marie because Absolutely. she's been there forever. She knows them. Totally. And like I said earlier, you know, I walk into my branch and... You know, I'm just another person. So I, I commend you guys that you have such of a intimate setting and, mm -hmm. and the connection that you have with your customers. What, um, tell me a little bit about your team. You've got Marie, obviously, 21 oh, yeah. years, amazing. And then who else? So we also have Stacy. She's been with the company for seven months. Excellent. But she's the type of person that like, she's only seven months there, but we have a connection since day one mm -hmm. that it feels like she's been there for 21 years and as I'm, well. I met her at a recent event and hasn't she been in banking for a while? She has. So, she worked in a different financial excellent. institution before in Melrose. So, so she knows, the she lives in Melrose too. Perfect. So she knows the community. She knows the bank systems. She knows everything. And we did like she's such a great like a upright person she's just like she's got such a good personality she has a great personality <laughs> she's a f more she's friendly fun. than <laughs> she's very fun so that one there is no like a down moment for her yeah. she's always like in a good we mood we were also having having some drinks and shopping at too. the beauty cafe so it helps to be in a good <laughs> that setting helps, which was a great event that <laughs> one oh, actually you. but yeah she's just lovely i like we like i said we had a connection since day one since the interview when i interviewed her um it was just like i really Instant. really like that person so we are really glad that she joined our team we actually, I met her son first. We tried to hire her son. <gasps> then she came over. Amazing. And then she was like, you know, my son, I was like, he was telling me everything <laughs> about you, that we were so good. Because I was, he got married with one of our customers. Oh, I love and it. And so like he came to, uh, to be added on the account. So I told him, oh, we need someone here. Because when he said that he works in banking too. And then he was in the, like in the process to buy a house. So then he couldn't change jobs at the moment. But then she was like, during the, her interview, she was like, you know, my son. I was That's like, I know your son. Funny. She was like, yeah, he was telling me about you. <laughs> and then I was like, who? And then she mentioned who was her son. I was like, oh my gosh, I loved, I, I, I still love her son. I love but it. I love her It's a her family too. affair. It's you could have had a two for one. <laughs> oh yeah. I wish I could, believe me. <laughs> but yeah, so she's just, we, even with the customer, like in her very first week, there was, I was just shocked because in her first end of her first week, I had a customer who was like, oh, I'm looking for a Stacey. I was like, you just said it. Like, what do you mean that we have a customer yeah. looking for you here already? You oh, know, that's so good. Though. This is that good. So yeah. she's so friendly with It sounds like she customers. already has the relationships. And she so does. people are going to. They trust her. Um, they, they love her. Like they are already looking for her. So and not last week, we had a new employee with um, it's our personal banker. Her name is Linda. She's also lives in Melrose. Awesome. 
So we just had her on board for the team. She's already doing great with the team. Very sweet person. Um, and she has banking experience too, which helps us a lot. So that's great. She's she can doing, pinch hit. If oh yeah. You need. Oh, that's wonderful. definitely. So she's she's like relatively new to the team, but she is already like we are very easygoing team. So it's not like there is no one person there that it's gonna give each other a hard time. Right. We it's have each other's back. Mesh. Correct. So we always have each other's back. So she's just like getting to get to know the, the team better too. So, but I think she's gonna be a great addition to the to the to our team fantastic now tell me if someone's listening and curious and says oh i i want to go meet priscilla where are you guys located what's your address on franklin so on we are located right on 514-516 franklin street in melrose i always tell the customer because sometimes it's a little hard to find there but it's right between la Cuchara and mother's pizza mm -hmm. that way there is no way to miss it that's a great everyone knows that place yeah that's a great spot i mean oh, yeah. mother's is legendary la Cuchara and tapas both fantastic cool. and then you have superior image oh, the they're great. Shot, that whole area that and then whole isn't, area. isn't there a new development happening across the tracks yes so they are having a new development apartments right across the tracks and across the street too where's um Tapas there. Yes. I think they're going to do apartments there too. Ooh, awesome. I know they're having apartments everywhere. Priscilla, that sounds like a lot of new customers. I'm actually really happy <laughs> looking for them to open. Yeah, right. <laughs> so Absolutely. I can go visit all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so when you are not helping Melrosians with their banking and not helping nonprofits with their missions, what do you like to do? I'm a very like stay in house, they stay at home person. Yeah. But I do like to go out, like hikes, do walks outside. So I love swimming too. Um, I'm a Christian, so I go to the church like every week. Wonderful. So, but usually it's like I like to stay home, watch movies, just relax. Yes. So sometimes you just need like some relaxing time. Decompress. Oh, yes. So, <laughs> but I love to go to the beach, especially oh, during the summertime. This, so. this time of year, the beach is so great. It's just gorgeous. So that's, oh. I like, I love hikes. I love walk. So. And we do have quite a bit, you know, you can hike in the fells. This is all, there's a great, you know, area of, um, there's a ton of opportunity in the area. Yes. So even in Woburn too, they have the, the wood, I forgot the name of it. Yeah. But yeah, you know what yep. I mean? Mm -hmm. So I've been there before, but I never be like, I like to go to the Wakefield Lake. Oh, Usually sometimes the after work. I just change clothes and then I go for a walk, we walk there because the view is just gorgeous. The, so Right. And when helps. there's a breeze, I love that. That's a good oh, way to decompress yes. too. <laughs> That's what I like to do. So just watching that lake and watching my music and just walking. We'll have to walk the lake together. I oh, would yes. Love I love that. <laughs> um, okay. So if someone's trying to, they, they know how to find you on Franklin Street, but what about an email address in case somebody wanted to reach out if they were thinking of starting a new business or needed some support? They can always reach out to me to my phone number, 978-569-1902, um, or by email, which is P Silveira, P S I L V E I R A at nbtc.com. So Fantastic. those are both ways that they can always reach out to me. They can call the branch as well. The girls are there to help them um, get that, like an appointment whenever they are able to come. Wonderful. Well, hopefully you uh, will certainly see you at the Victorian Fair. Oh, and yes. You're I'm looking so forward. always so good about attending all of our events. We'll see you uh, out and around town. Oh, definitely. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you, Priscilla. I appreciate, I appreciate it. you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.